This course will teach you essential Arduino and programming skills through a series of fun mini projects of increasing complexity. The core theme of these mini projects is an Arduino powered car. Each mini project allows you to explore interesting hardware and programming topics. For example, in one project, you'll explore vehicle safety using an ultrasonic distance sensor. And in another project, you'll learn how to control the Arduino car with your smartphone. You'll learn how to program motors, take input from sensors to implement automation features, and explore various options to control your car. In this lecture, I'll talk about the following. First, I'll talk about the learning objectives of the course. Next, I'll talk about the hardware and software specifications and requirements. And third and last, I'll talk about the organization of the course. Before we continue though, please know that this is not an introductory course. In designing this course, I assume that you are already familiar with the Arduino. You should know how to wire up simple circuits on a breadboard and upload a sketch to your Arduino. You should also be able to read and understand simple Arduino code install external libraries to the Arduino desktop IDE, and know how to fix simple code bugs and wiring errors. You can also read technical documentation and have the patience to learn from documentation and code samples and apply new knowledge to your projects. If you don't feel confident about the skills I described, I recommend taking a step back completing an introductory course, such as my course Arduino Step-by-Step -step Getting Started, and then returning with this course. Next, let's look at the course learning objectives. A course like this allows you to learn new soft and hard skills. What you will ultimately learn depends on many factors that are out of my control. Your existing knowledge, aspirations, goals, and motivations greatly influence what you learn from this course. With the term soft skills, I mean the skills that help you to troubleshoot and solve problems, analyze requirements, find high quality relevant information, and design an engineering solution to a problem that considers technical and non-technical requirements. As soft skills, I also classify the ability of a person to persevere through complex problems and self-guide without constant reliance on external support and direction. I haven't designed this course to teach you these soft skills specifically. However, you will improve on all the soft skills areas that I mentioned through your exposure to technical projects with verifiable objectives. In this course, even though I've made all relevant technical decisions and have solved all related problems as part of the course design, you will witness my decision-making process and to a certain extent participate in the development process. You will gain the most by following me in each mini project where you will inevitably have to struggle with and then overcome unexpected bumps along the road. Now let's look at the hard technical skills you learn in this course. In this course, you learn to use an Arduino Uno along with various peripherals, such as one or two DC motors with the help of a motor controller module, an analog joystick, an infrared sensor that can receive encoded commands from an infrared remote control, an ultrasonic distance sensor, a buzzer, and two radio frequency communications modules a Bluetooth BLE or low energy module for near field connectivity, and an ESP-01S Wi-Fi module for internet connectivity. You will also learn how to power your Arduino motor project with one or two batteries to separate the Arduino and motor sub-circuits. In addition to the hardware skills, you'll learn several software hard skills, such as how to program car functions with the infrared remote control, how to use Bluetooth low energy along with your smartphone and the Arduino Blue library to control the Arduino car, how to use the ESP01S Wi-Fi module with the Blink cloud platform and your smartphone to also control the Arduino car and its peripherals how to compensate for tiny differences between the motors that affect the driving qualities of the car, 
how to use the distance sensor to prevent a crash, and two different ways to control the speed of the DC motors. These are the technical learning objectives of this course. Now let's have a look at this course's hardware specifications and requirements. Basically, what is the hardware that you'll need? Almost all of the hardware I used in this course is conveniently part of the 3-in-1 IoT Smart Car Learning Kit for Arduino by SunFounder. This kit contains the car chassis and motors, an Arduino Uno clone board, sensors, the ultrasonic Wi-Fi and infrared modules, wires, breadboards, and a 9-volt battery and clip. A few items are not in the kit. A Bluetooth BLE module, a switch, and a couple of meters of four-wire flexible cable for the joystick. You can purchase these items from SunFounder, which is convenient and price competitive, but you can also source all of those components from many online and offline retailers. But before you purchase any hardware, please take a few minutes to watch the following lecture, Hardware and Kit Overview, where I discuss all hardware components needed in this course. In terms of desktop software, you will need the Arduino Desktop IDE and a browser. I assume that you already know how to use the Arduino Desktop IDE, and if not, I recommend that you complete at least the first half of my course, Arduino Step-by-Step -step Getting Started. You'll also need a free account on Blink.io, an Internet of Things platform. I'll show you how to create a project on Blink, but I will not cover the more intricate details. If you are interested in the details of the Blink platform, you can look at my course Arduino Mobile Development with Blink. All the Arduino code I show in the various lectures is available to download from the course GitHub repository. This will save you a lot of typing. Now let's have a look at the course organization. The course has seven sections that take you through the four mini projects and other supporting and learning content. In the first section, getting to know the hardware, you learn how to use each component in isolation. For example, you learn how to rotate a DC motor and use the Wi-Fi module to connect the internet. By the end of this section, you'll know how to use a joystick, the motors, and the motor driver the infrared and ultrasonic sensors, and the Bluetooth BLE and Wi-Fi communications modules. In the next section, you'll assemble the core parts of the Arduino car, which consist of the chassis, the motors, and the Arduino Uno board. In the mini projects that follow, you'll add various modules to try out different configurations. You'll work on variants of the Arduino car in the four successive sections. You'll start with a Arduino car that you can control with a simple analog joystick connected via cable. Then you'll retrofit the car with an infrared wireless remote control and receiver. In the last two mini projects, you learn how to use your smartphone as a remote controller and communicate with the car via Bluetooth BLE and Wi-Fi. And in the last section, you learn how to improve various aspects of the car's performance. For example, you learn how to use the ultrasonic distance sensor to prevent collisions, how to compensate for slight speed differences between the two motors that make the car drive in a curve rather than in a straight line, and how to control the speed of the car. And with this, I hope that you now have a clear view of what's ahead. In the following lecture, I'll talk about the hardware that you'll use in the course. Thank you.